Coming up after the break, an AI innovation transforming old photographs into something very different. Take a look at this. You're seeing my grandmother's face move. It was based on a still photograph hanging on the wall of my parents' house. It's quite emotional seeing it. She, um, she reminds me of my sisters and my father, who I miss badly. Artificial intelligence generating new insights and nostalgia. The My Heritage CEO up next to talk us through. Man. Welcome back to First Move. Before the break, you saw how artificial intelligence is generating great feelings of nostalgia, many other things too. Seeing animated faces of friends and family, past and present, can be quite an emotional experience. Well, the same can be said for historical figures brought back to life too. Just watch this. Gila Jaffet is founder and CEO of MyHeritage and joins us now. Wow, it gives me a frog in my throat actually watching those, even when it's not my own family. Just talk to me about the science behind this and the kind of reactions that you're getting from people using it. And great to have you on the show, by the way. I'm clearly very enthusiastic. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Julia. Thank you so much for having me. I want to give you a bit of context first. Mm -hmm. uh, MyHeritage.com is a website and mobile application for family history. It allows people to trace their ancestors, build their family tree, and discover the unique stories of their family. And we've always looked for special ways to allow people to connect to their ancestors. And one of the best ways to do that is through photographs. We created amazing features using artificial intelligence to colorize black and white photos automatically and enhance focus of blurry photos. And now, by partnering with an Israeli startup called the DID, we took deep fake technology that they created and used it to build this new service on my heritage called the Deep Nostalgia. It lets you upload any photo and animate the faces in it, basically converting the photo into a video and bringing the people in the photo back to life. Have you done it with your own family and family members? Yes, I've started with myself, but it's been very emotional for me to do this with my late father and have a chance to see him smiling again back at me. And we've received uh, thousands of emotional responses from people all over the world who have done the same, who have uploaded a photo of something, someone very meaningful to them and had um, a wonderful experience uh, reconnecting with that person. And just to be clear, because you mentioned the term deep fake, um, you decided that these are hard-coded animations, so you can't add speech to them because you, you didn't want to risk this technology being used, perhaps, to create fake videos. That's correct. The way the technology works is very interesting. It is using artificial intelligence to recognize the facial features from a photograph. And then what we have done is we've filmed a set of drivers who are people who are doing a sequence of facial expressions. And when you upload your photo, we automatically select the best driver and we apply it so that we animate the person in your photo in exactly the same way. And exactly as you said, this is preventing any abuse because the drivers are silent, there is intentionally no speech, and the movements are hard-coded. So you can't really take a person and have them say what you want or do what you want. It's more an emotional experience for you to do with um, photos of your own family, and you're not allowed to upload photos of a living person without their permission. Thanks yeah. to these protections, there has been no abuse. It's funny, we were just showing videos of people's response to seeing family members, and you see a mixture of sort of shock, joy, emotion, people crying. It is, it's an incredibly emotional experience. It's also a way, and you sort of raise this with what you do at My, My Heritage. it's a way of bringing people to the platform. Perhaps they go on to research their family history or they order a DNA test, for example, as well. I read that you have 13 billion historical records in terms of data. Yes, that, this is 
astonishing. Just talk to me about protecting that data. You were going to carry on there, but just in light of the, all the conversations we're having about data privacy, about cybersecurity, that's a lot of information to protect. Yes, actually, the 13 billion historical records on my heritage are mostly of deceased people. So the, the privacy protections are um, slightly um, less important. But we take the privacy of our users uh, very, very seriously and protect their data. <clears throat> and we pledge that we don't own the information. It is only owned by the users, and we just host it for them. And um, privacy is extremely important to us. Which makes sense. You recently decided to um, sell the company as opposed to go public. Just can you explain that decision to me as well? Because I, I look at what you're offering and the incredible growth, and I, I know you've been profitable for a long time. What was the decision in terms of maintaining control of the company and deciding which way you go at this point in time? So as you said, we have been going on for many years, um, actually 17 and a half years, yeah. and, uh, and doing, very, doing very well. Uh, but I felt that it's time to reward the employees and also the longtime shareholders. But I wanted to pick a path that would not be the end of the road. I did not want to retire, but on the contrary, take this company to new heights with our wonderful employees. So this path of partnering with Francisco Partners, which are a private equity firm, allows us to just keep everything as it is and keep going strong and aim for the next exit. And the, ne the next one might be going public. Uh, we're not ruling anything out. So what next? With the money that you raise, what next? Because you've clearly made a big impression bringing uh, pictures to life. So um, we like to think of ourselves as very innovative. We <clears throat> founded the company on the principle of bringing genealogy back to life with innovative technology. So we keep looking for new and unique ways to allow people to connect to their family history. I would hope that people, uh, more people embrace genealogy. It makes people feel closer to their family and to each other. And it's a very good thing that makes, I think, the world uh, a little better place. Yeah, I agree. Look, there's my grandmother again. Just gives me a huge frog <laughs> in my throat. <laughs> Thank you for coming on and talking about um, what you're doing. Oh, I'm getting emotional. Gilad, fantastic to have you on the show. Sure. And uh, come back soon and talk to us, please. The founder and CEO of Can My I invite Heritage. invite everyone to come to My Heritage and try it for free for themselves. Thank you. Thank you. Well, there you go. You've teased it rather than me and you've stopped me crying. Thank you, sir. Great to have you on.